Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Revolution. Welcome back to my channel and a different game this time. After we completed Need for Speed Heat, the last story yesterday, we're playing Life is Strange 2, as I said, because part 5 is coming soon, it's coming very soon. And I played part 1, episode, I mean episode 1, not part, episode 1, like a while back when it was released, which is probably like last year now, I think, I'm not so sure. It was really good, I liked it, but I haven't played episode 2, 3 and 4, so let's just play through them before episode 5 comes out on 3rd of December. No save file of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit has been detected. It's enhancement. Play Captain Spirit before episode two, and it's free. Uh, is that what episode one was called? No, episode one. Road. I have no idea what Captain Spirit is. Uh, let's proceed. Anyway, episode one. What was it about? Oh, I love those wolves. <clears throat> so, episode one was. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey. Through the great big forest. Yes. Wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up. But the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hoped Find peace. Okay, so that basically sums up episode one, as far as I remember. Choose wisely, okay. Yeah, so the two of brothers, the two boys, Sean and to our grandparents. Hmm. Oh, Daniel? Sean and Daniel? I don't I don't remember. Not I, I'm not sure. But yeah, the little kid, the, the little boy had some kind some sort of powers, but I don't remember when he used them either. Oh. Hey doggy. I kind of miss the snow. Never snows in London. Sometimes miss going home for a uh, try with this one for the winter. Cause there's like proper snow. That one's too easy. Look, it's already snowing. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Ah, uh, he's practicing. Cool, 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 cool. When did they find the dog? I don't I don't remember that. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy though. I'm a little tired. Hey, the dog's name is Mushroom. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Uh yeah, same. Okay. I think we can only shooting range. Rock. Maybe this rock, maybe that rock. 
Let's try that rock. Welcome to telekinesis 101. Yeah. Please don't kill your teacher. Oh, god damn it. How about trying out that rock over there? Yeah. Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... Gotta practice. One more time. Practice makes perfect, kid. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. I can feel it. I guess we need to find another rock. I mean, I guess it's gotta be this one. That's too easy. I want him. Oh yeah, so we got objective to target. Yeah, find targets, great. Let's try this one. How about that one? It's the same size rock, just you closer. Can do with the small rocks, but not the big ones. Stop complaining, kid. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was <laughs> the biggest rock ever! Oh. Do we need to do more target practice? Is this one too big? Yeah. It's just way too massive. Yeah. I agree. Let's lift the dog. You could try and lift mushroom? Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't wanna hurt her. <laughs> yeah, nah. yeah, you're probably right. Fair enough. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Okay, let's do this small one. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Cool. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. <laughs> See if you can stop this in the air. <laughs> cool? Okay. But you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me. Right? Try it. Where should we aim for? Oh, 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 oh. Adjusting the strength. Yeah, let's start with this. Whoa. <laughs> You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought you would stop it. Yeah, I would Seriously. if uh, it was going to hit me there, or at least I'd move. Let's adjust the strength. Think back! <laughs> Ciao! Stop! Whoa! Oh. Okay. Daniel. That's what you get! Daniel! Happy? I was correct. Oh, yeah, I am. That was awesome! You did it, man. I did. So you better be nice to me. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. <laughs> Where are we Can going we go back now? now? Yeah. 
Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. Fill up the canteens. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Lazy Ranger. Nice work. <laughs> Lazy Ranger. I told you not to bust out your power whenever... Sean! The water's fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. That dog must have an owner though. Go back to the house. Let's just go. Hey, look at that snowman. What, what did you find, Shroom? Nothing. Just an old canoe. I mean, we, we might need it. Oh, come on. Not again. We gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. It's got a hole, so it's pretty much I never come useless. Back. Oh, I die sick. But it's scary. We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah. yeah. They're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Keep out wolves inside. Sick. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? Uh... They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But... They left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every 10 years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. I just, I miss my friends and my room. Sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing too interesting outside. A bunch of stuff we probably won't need. Or that you can use the fishing rod to catch some dinner. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <laughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. Yeah. <laughs> I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um. You can do it. Okay. Um. Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh. I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a last resort. No, it's dangerous. I uh, think it should be used as a last resort. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad 
might still be here. Can't think that way, kid. Daniel, you didn't even know. <coughs> that shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Ha, <laughs> dig butt. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey, we have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Oh. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> okay, let's see what's up. So, let's make fire first. Whoops. We're probably going to need it for dinner. I need to check the objectives. That usually tells you everything you need to know. Put my lighter. Miss cord with these clothes. Okay, maybe Plus not. Plus five street cred. Two board magazines, stove, mushrooms, cushion. She's only got one cushion. High school feels so far away now. Okay, absolutely nothing useful. Oh, there's a map. The lighter is not in the bag. Inside the Wish I had pack. more than tobacco, to be honest. HQ, nope. I'm flying over the city. No danger in sight. Copy. Find that lighter, build a fire. Yeah, I'm trying. I mean, why the hell would it be in the bathroom? They're using the bathtub to wash dishes. Uh, okay. We never found the key to this door. Okay, good to know. I guess using the sliding door is cool. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and. Oh, there's another bag. Keep it closed. Sean stuff. Book letter lighter. Time to get warm. There we go. Let's go and build that fire then. That should do it. <clears throat> Here we go. What happens Hold when the lighter on, runs out of gas? We're gonna build a fire. Starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Cook what? Find a clean saucepan and get dinner ready. I can't make a pizza fly to us. Oh, I there's food. Daniel's delivery service. Let's go back in that room. This hot dog man issue is kind of weird. Yeah, nah. This is gotta be one from the bathtub. Uh <coughs> Oh, that that one's clean. How did I not? Daniel needs to eat that. something after all that psychic crap. They've got medicine as well. That's sick. I mean, I don't think anyone lived here in ages. Hmm. 
Mm. Tough Good choice. Can. Yeah. <clears throat> Better talk to Daniel after dinner. They've got three cans left, so we need to move soon. Oh, look at it. Little mushroom. Cool. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. <laughs> Okay, dude. Uh, let's not discuss that. Let's not go there. Let's see what else is in here. Maybe we need some plates. Container, there's nothing. There's bubble bath, medicine. A bucket. Ugh. Towel. Broken window. Add water. Let's add some water. Hey. I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. I just wanted to clean the plates, but okay. Let's go and check on that. That's a broken frame. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, dinner's ready. Ravioli. Spaghetti and truffles, better than nothing. Yeah. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, mushroom? She probably does. She's probably starving. Daniel, come on. I know. Hide my powers, but it's just you and me and puppy. I don't want you to get in the habit. <coughs> he definitely should eat. If he's sick, Sorry. that's for sure. But I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Mm. Um, okay. Interesting. Gotta show him the map. Uh. I think I left it with my books. What, his books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, she's got boots. What did you do with the map? Mm, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Let's go back. Where exactly? Okay, come on, doggy. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom. Come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, a great team. Everything is better with a dog. Things right here. Time to play dad, dog. Yeah. Wait, what? I heard something. Mother f Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> okay, good job, father of mine. 
I had no idea what happened. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway. Let's do this. Okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No. I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, They've got some in the bathroom. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? They're family and yeah, there's probably no other options. Don't think that way. It's not like we have tons of options. Okay. I'm just scared they're gonna think I'm a freak or something. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well, okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. <laughs> Party time. Okay. Ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. <coughs> Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Okay. okay. Got a ship. It's better than nothing. This ship is mine. I need a five. Just give me a five. Yes! Full ship. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes! Full ship and cargo. Wow. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. Um... Here you go, cargo. Better than nothing. <laughs> Great job, lover. Ah, not the best score. But I'll do better next time. <laughs> You'll see. You wish. He's gonna use his powers. Got a ship now. I need a captain. Come on. Here you go, Captain. Come on, give me something, anything. Why don't I get a full ship? Come on. <laughs> My turn now. Be ready to lose. I've never played this game. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. Ooh, look at these scores. 
told you I win. Damn. You know what it means? Yeah. Okay. Dick butt. You can draw a dick on my back. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Let's draw a wolf. Instead. Hold on. It's not an easy one. Needs concentration. Hope it's a good wolf. Ta-da! Another dick that looks like wolf, or a wolf that looks like dick. Whoa! It's so cool! Thanks, Sean. So, let's do another one? It's getting late. Let's, let's stop playing. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm Progress the story. Why does she want to go out? She has to pee. Okay, okay. No, we're gonna lose I'll her. Take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. <laughs> but it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Oh, just don't lose the dog, please. To be fair, I'd rather stay inside with a fire going instead of walking to another place, being on the road, but yeah, they're running out of supplies, dude. And that cigarette is a funny color. How long has it been sat in that box? Reminiscing, smoking ass. He's going to try and lift it. I reckon he's jealous. I probably would be a little bit. So that was all just the intro to episode two. It's like such a cool game, it's like a film, it's like a game, it's like a combo of both. 
it's not very action-packed compared to a lot of other games, but it's still cool. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Ah, <sighs> let's go help him. What sucks? Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. <sighs> Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? Everything. What the f Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, <clears throat> looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, Please. I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Don't lose the dog. Yeah, where are the bottles? Probably in the... There's nothing here, so... In the bathroom. Damn, that doesn't look like the cleanest water. <sighs> nothing interesting in here, nothing that we need. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Something happened outside. Of the bag. Daniel! I'll just grab my bag. Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Uh, three sets of tracks. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. He's probably messing with him. Where is he? Knowing that little punk. Yeah, let's go this way. Just follow the tracks. Mushroom went left, Daniel went right. I think. Daniel? Ooh, damn. Where are you? What the fuck happened here? What the heck? This is bad that I wish that. <sighs> That's not good. How oh, does the dogs? Yeah, I was gonna say, is it bad that I wish that it's Daniel's blood and not the dogs? I don't think it is, but a lot of people say it is. Leave goddamn mushroom alone. She's got nothing to do with this. Uh, Daniel? Oh, crap. Okay? That's uh listen. Leave me alone! No! Second place Daniel's power. Step forward. Don't intervene. 
Uh, 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 let's do that. Go away! Go! No! No! Oh. I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. Poor dog. I'm right here. That's why I knew they shouldn't have let her it's go right. out. Even, even last night. I mean, Sean went out with her, so that was fine. I knew nothing will happen, but now they let her out on her own. Oh, god damn it. Bloody hell. Here, you should do it. That came out of nowhere, by the way. That's it. It's pointless. I can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Girl, rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With dad? What dog wouldn't be, let's be honest. Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. <laughs> Don't worry, Nana. There's no allergies up there. <laughs> They'll be fine together. Oh, imagine if there was. You go to heaven and you still can't eat bloody okay. chocolate or peanuts. We should go. Be around dogs. Late. Okay. That was short lived. Ah. Keep out wolves inside. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Yeah. Come on. Although, to be fair, it won't be the same without mushrooms. Like. What about my traps? You always relate. Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. <laughs> I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes. Die six, Norman.
Come on, boys. I don't remember what time of the year they started running, but I think it was quite late. So it makes sense, it makes sense that there's snow already. That's a nice shot. That's a very nice shot. <clears throat> that kid is so pissed off. He is not loving it. He has to leave his kind of new home. Lost his dog. All in the same day. Same morning even. That water looks so fresh, by the way. Oh god. I have not gotten enough sleep. If they let you skip all of those cinematic sequences, <laughs> that game will probably be like 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's good that they don't actually let you skip them. Because I know a lot of people would. Hey! We found the road! The boys found the road! That should lead somewhere. Difficult being the older brother. It's difficult. Because I'm sure he's in pain too, but can't admit it. Oh, that's the place they were talking about. Beaver Creek. To be fair, I thought we'd have to find it and get there. I think this is the house. <coughs> we made it, Daniel. Yep. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Oh, wow. I guess their parents got divorced. And he stopped going there. Because... Come here. I mean... Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Huh. We don't want to look like total pigs. Well... I think you passed that. Come on. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. 
What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. She's not that bad. She doesn't seem that bad. I expected her to be like... I don't know. An angry old grandma. It's actually the granddad that's going to be a problem, I think. <laughs> that picture quality. What a great photograph. So those are their mom's parents, I gather. <clears throat> I'm surprised the mother probably died. I don't think she let them. Women don't do that. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh Most yeah. Part. It feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen. May I talk to you for a second? We gotta eavesdrop. We gotta eavesdrop. So, how's the kid doing? <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Oh, Stephen. Nothing too interesting. I thought it would be eavesdropping. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. I can't even get up. Get up, bro. So we just sat here waiting. Feels so awkward to be here. Great, let, let me just click on everything. I remember that. Good for you. I Why think can't you be move? Living room. Well, they were decorated. It's good to be inside. There we go. We're out of options. I just hope they let us stay the night. We did so much. <laughs> Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're oh. looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Oh. And for assault and robbery in a gas station? They know. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... Hurt that police officer in Seattle. Fucking, I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. I don't know. Let's put, let's play that card. Like, seriously? You think we did this? Blah, 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 blah. Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw on the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? I freaked out to protect Daniel. Had no choice. Uh... I didn't want Daniel to see dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. Is it I working? I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. That is actually true. You can't be sure, Sean. 
Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Down to Mexico? Mm, I don't think that's a great idea. Figure it out. Whatever that means. I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? She died, that's for sure. Yeah. Whoa, really? Uh, uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we were also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. I always wonder say? how people live in such small Serious? towns. Awesome. Oh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, oh, I bet you're hungry. Oh, Daniel should do. Something. Is pretend that he doesn't get better. And they're sorted. See, look at how big that house is in such a small town. How? <sighs> how do you feel, Super Wolf? <laughs> Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like... A bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Uh, sure. Sure. Otherwise, we need all the help we can get. Yeah. We lost a blessed dad. And I don't Sean. want to insult her. Um, and Mushroom, and you and Grandpa, and, uh, everybody else. Oh my. The whole world. You are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 She said trials, as in like a court trial. Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. They're going to and turn them in. Housing in here. No worries. They're We're going to tired. turn them in. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. 
Good night, Grandma. Hmm. Not so, so sure. Nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Imagine Mom if she died us. during birth. She made her choice. Oh. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. She actually left them? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kinda itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Okay. Probably like touched my keyboard twice <laughs> in the past hour since the whole episode started. Oregon. A whole week. Wow. It's been a good week for them. Look around. Man, I could sleep all day long in this bed. Dice, earmuffs, some Lego. Careful with the Lego. Space toy. Daniel's bag. Pajamas. Another backpack. Oh, get dressed. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that first. Not that anyone would care, but if we need to run, we're ready. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Exactly. Steven's book, bandana. Oh, that's the that's mushroom's bandana. And another book. Let's go down. Sean, finally. Oh, that's sick. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. Nice. That is so oh, careful, American. Chief. They're going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. 
Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. <laughs> okay. Was that it? I'm glad they get along so big. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. Nothing interesting nearby. Let's go to the bathroom. Yeah, why not? Gotta do the morning routine. Oh man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Toothpaste. Empty glass. It doesn't look empty. Looks pretty full to me. I don't want to go through the laundry. Grub bar. Wow. Is that for just old people? That's the medicine. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going down. Nothing else left to do. Homework, okay. Some game. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. <laughs> Are you boys done playing? We had an express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. <laughs> oh, choo choo! <laughs> What's for breakfast? Waffles? Ah, uh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Oh, if that kid uses his power now. Oh, that's probably eggs. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. Yep, waffles. As usual. With you're eggs. the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Hi, Michelle. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. Mm. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I wanted to click the other one. Anyway. I guess it worked out. Oh, and I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. 
Did she die or did she leave them? Is all I want to know. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? In the back of what? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just, just a room now, Sean. Call her mom. Nothing to see. If she died... Why lock it then? They'd probably miss her. It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Oh, okay, that explains a lot. Like, she's alive then. But did she leave her parents as well? Did she just get everybody out of her life? Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, yeah, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Well, we didn't learn much. Ask Stephen for the shed key. Someone likes painting. Ooh, aquarium. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Yeah, it looks pretty empty. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's that's fine, fine really. It's a cool fireplace. Romance novels. Relax and draw. Oh, I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. All right. I'm sick, man. Pretty decent. Yeah. Cool. Achievement oh, unlocked. It's such a treat to see you drawing. You've got a real gift. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Beautiful. <laughs> Right, I think we've explored oh. enough. Here's Daniel. You had a dog? Yes. Old oh. Left us three years ago. Damn. That's going to hurt. It's oh, another locked door. Choo, 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 choo. Where did he go? Is he upstairs? <coughs> Steven. Steven. Oh, there he is. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. No. Let me just. Uh, okay. That's Sorry. an understatement. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. 
You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Ooh, an important choice. Hide the secret. Lie. Always lie. <laughs> um, and never listen really. to me. Of course. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but... That's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy what I'm trying to say is she believes in God you should stay here with us I know you boys plan to run to Mexico but ah <sighs> Puerto Lobos I have no idea what that means is it the place thanks maybe we could but <sighs> why not I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? different now how is it different now you don't know him you don't know him of course not but everything's different now I know I know well just think about it my but voice so cold don't torture yourself I will hey uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed Oh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. You're falling apart like the wardrobe. It's good to see you in my lap. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. <laughs> no, thank I'm you. Busy. Yeah, busy my ass. Come over here. Uh, of course. Jeez. Where's that voice coming from? God damn, I can't see. Jack. Is that another door? No. Oh, there's a light switch. Oh, that's just it. Okay, close it. Huh? Damn it. Uh, he won't be in there. What is behind this door? <coughs> Damn it! Where can this kid be? It's probably not in the fridge, that'd be stupid.
It's not here. Toilet. Nope, can't open this. So yeah, he's upstairs. Okay, let's go up. It's probably in the train room. Ah. <sighs> He's not in there, under the bed. God damn it! There's not many doors left. I know you're in there. He's not. Gotcha! What the? Oh, you! Yeah, very funny. <sighs> no more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. That was easy. Getting away with stuff. Bloody kid. Oh, damn, she's got a cross in there. She's got a cross in there. Yeah, she's proper religious. I'm not quite... I'm not a fan of that. Uh, anyway. Oh, wow, that's... That's a long episode. As in, like... For my channel. Not the game. Oh man, what's our objective? Find the dirty linen, which we did. I guess I should have done that while I was downstairs. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, okay. I'm not going to sneeze. Go outside to check the garden. Shit. All right, so we're not tidying up, which is cool. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to do those objectives later and do the rest of the whole episode two of Life is Strange 2. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Not much happened compared to episode one, at least from what I remember. But to be fair, in episode one, we just started running, that cop died. I really don't remember how he died. I think Daniel killed him with his superpowers and he killed their dad. So yeah, I'm starting, it's getting back to me because they're going through it, you know, as well. And I've touched my keyboard like five times <laughs> since this whole thing started, but it's cool. It's a different kind of game um, and I still like it. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you aren't, and hopefully I'll see you next time for part two of the, of the series. So Life is Strange 2, episode two, part two, you know, all those twos. And yeah, peace out.